Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to see how you can embed videos from Google Drive really in any website that allows you to embed. I'm going to focus on Moodle, which is a site that lets you uh, create courses, and uh, we'll see how that's done right now. All right, so first things first, now I'm in Google Drive. This is a video that I would like to um, embed. So the first thing you want to do is right click and click the sharing option. The top right here, there's a gear icon, so click that. And uncheck, viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. Make sure you uncheck this. Uh, that way, uh, students won't be able to download the video directly from, uh, fr from Moodle. So it's a, an added security measure just to make sure that students are focused uh, right in your Moodle course as opposed to going outside of that. And the second thing you want to do is make sure that you have anyone on the internet with this link can view. That can be changed if you click, click the change here because you might have restricted to begin with or you might have part of the organization. So go ahead and click anyone with the link. Once that's done, click done. And now double click the video top right corner, Hi guys. <laughs> let's stop this for a sec, top right corner where it says more actions, those three dots, click that and click open in new window. Once that opens in a new window, go ahead to the right top right corner again, click the more actions uh, icon again. This time you'll see a new field called embed item. Click that and that will open up the code that you need to, uh, to take. So Highlight the whole thing. This is the iframe code and copy. Copy that and go into this uh, Google Sheet that I've created. And it's a view only uh, sheet. So what you want to do uh, is click File, make a copy. So then it makes a copy in your own Google Drive so you can edit it. I'm going to drop a link to this spreadsheet in the description of this video so you can access it. Uh, basically, you come here, you paste the code that you got from Google Drive. And the reason for the spreadsheet is it modifies that code, uh, modifies a couple of parameters. The first one is the width and the height. So the original is 640 and 480 pixels for width and height. Uh, that doesn't really work very well with mobile devices. So I've modified that to show width of 400, height of 225 pixels. The second thing I've modified is uh, allow full screen option. I've added that option so students have the option to click on full screen and see the video in full screen. Okay, so once you pasted that, all you need to do is copy the final code, the cell that has the final code. And of course, as you add more videos, continue to add them here in the, in the different cells. Um, and you can name this uh, sheet whatever you want, maybe for your course, give it the name of the course, and then you have it for the long run, and now you know all the links uh, in your course. So once we've copied that, now we need to go to our uh, course site. This is the Moodle site that I have. My course here is Artificial Intelligence AI 101. Uh, make sure that you have turn editing is on. In my case, it's already on. If it's not on, turn it on. And then go ahead and add a new activity or resource wherever you choose to. I'm going to add it to module one and choose page. Click Add. Give it a name for your lesson. Maybe uh, Lesson for Video Test. You can give a description here, uh, but more, most importantly is the page content section. This is where you're going to paste the code. Uh, expand the view here. Click the HTML code view. You can remove this and paste your code and that's it. All you need to do is click save and display and your video shows here as you can see. Now I'm going to show you from the view of a student. So if a student is accessing the course, what, what will they see? Let's refresh this page. Here's lesson four video test, the latest one that I have here. And you can see the video pops up here. They can go ahead and click play from here. The video Hi is guys. going to play. Thanks for joining. Or 
Uh, and I should say they can click full screen as you can see here. There are some controls as well that are very helpful such as changing the playback speed. Uh, maybe you, they want to move faster or they want to go slower. You can also, they can also change the quality of the video. So if they're in a place where the internet connection is not very good, they can reduce the, the quality or they can leave it on auto and uh, Google Drive will automatically switch to a lower setting if their connection is not very good. Okay, let's exit from here. And one last thing to show you, if they were to click this pop-up uh, or pop-out uh, window, this will open up uh, the video in Google Drive. And uh, because we disabled the download, they cannot, there's no download button here that they can download it from. So that, uh, that's what the, uh, the piece in the sharing uh, is all about. Uh, if you didn't enable that, then if you if they were to, uh, this is from the student side. This is so this sorry this is from the teacher side, because this is my account, so I can see the download button here. But for a student, they won't be able to see this download button. And uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this has been helpful to see how you can embed videos uh, from Google Drive into really any website. I just focus on Moodle in this video. Thank you for watching.